Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again. Today I have some really cool crafts to show you. Dollar Tree vases turned into like a boho type style. So stay tuned, here we go. So starting with this first DIY, I took this glass vase from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum Stone textured spray paint and I'm also using this beige Rust-Oleum spray paint also the Rust-Oleum black matte paint I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray it and I'll be right back so now it's finished I spray painted it outside and I gave it a two-tone look to it gave it some texture to the top Looks really nice. So now I'm going to take this Halloween floral. Um, I'm not going to use the Halloween part of it. It's grass, what's it called? Grass with feathers. I'm taking the feathers off, not using it. I'm just going to use the grass um, and just place that inside the jar. I did find some more and I also placed a lot more inside the jar or the glass vase actually. All right, so this is what it looks like just with a little bit of the grass inside it. At the end, you'll see there's a lot more and it looks a lot better. So now I'm taking this wood round that I got from Hobby Lobby and um, these little candle cups. But I got those from Hobby Lobby as well. And I'm going to paint everything with um, the antique wax paint and I'm adding a little bit of water just to tone it down a little bit and then I'm going to uh, wipe it off with a baby wipe. I love this antique wax. Look how amazing it looks on this natural wood. It just shows the wood grains so prominent. It's beautiful. I love it. And it's so easy and there's no smell to it like the regular stains. So easy to use. So now I am applying the antique wax to the little candle, candle cups. Um, I'm going to use them for the bottom of the, the circle to make a little feet. So now I'm hot gluing the little feet to the wood round and that's going to be my little stand. And look how cute it is. It's so little, but it's so cute. I love it. So now I'm taking these natural brown wood beads that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the antique wax and cover it um, lightly coated. I don't want it too dark, too light, just right. Okay, so that's finished. So now I took some jute twine and I'm going to string it through the beads. Okay, so I'm taking the jute twine and wrapping it a million times around my little hand. I wish my hand was bigger because I would like to have a bigger tassel. Um, but the little one will have to do. So now I'm taking some jute twine, wrapping it really quickly around the top portion of it. And then I'm going to take my scissors, cut the middle of it. And that's going to be the part of the tassel. Now I'm taking the other end of the jute twine and I'm going to put it through the little tassel that I just made and tie it off in a knot. So I wanted to add something to the other side. So I remembered I had these little keys that I got from Hobby Lobby. I was like, okay, great. I'm gonna add a little key to the end of this. I think it needed something. So now I'm taking the jute twine and putting it through the little keyhole and then I'm going to tie it off in the knot and that should complete that little tassel wood bead that I just created and it looks amazing. 
and I grab this glass jar at Dollar Tree. I'm going to take it outside and spray it with the black matte spray paint. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm going to take some of this uh, gold metal paint that I got from Hobby Lobby and I took my toothbrush, applying a little bit on top, and I'm going to flick it with my finger and make little specks of gold all around the little vase. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but can you see the gold specks? It looks amazing. Okay, so that's all finished now and I'm um, just showing you the completion of all the things that I just previously made. Now I'm going to take this floral and I was looking for the name of it because I want to make sure I let my community know what kind of floral I am using. <laughs> um, it was greenery something. Um, don't know it off the top of my head, but I will show you in a minute if you can read it. It's some... Um, bush greenery or something but anyways i'm going to use that for the little vase and and i end up changing it to the eucalyptus you can see the picture of it i thought it would match better because the vase has the little gold specks in it and it looks so beautiful look at it all together it's amazing i love it it's gorgeous Okay, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And once again, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.